everyone, it's Nadia from Leah D Designs and I'm back with another video. So today we're doing something a little bit different. As you can see, I've been working on ornaments. <laughs> and um, if you've been following for a while, you'll recognize the style because I have, I did this a little bit last year as well. And I think I did a tutorial on it. And actually even last week's video with the gingerbread cookie style uh, ornaments, I did also show it again there. So you'll recognize these in that in terms of the style and the technique. So if you want to know how to make them, you can check out one of those videos. I'll link them in the description below. And uh, But I just wanted to show you them because just to show you what I've been working on. They will be added to my website tomorrow or at least by the time that you're watching this video, they should be online. And uh, yes, yeah, so, so I was asked to make a bunch of different colors and options because last year I had made, I think it was these three, this one actually had a different background. I changed the background to more of a matte purple instead of, I think I had it on like a sparkly one like this, and I changed it up this year. So we have like a reindeer, we have our Van Gogh Starry Night, and we have our Lotus Flowers. So those are the ones I made last year, and like I said, I was asked to make different variety, different uh, designs. So we have some new ones this year, which include um, this beautiful one. This is a bit more of a turquoise, dark turquoise green. It's a bit more green than in blue that it might show on camera, but it's a beautiful color with the waves. We have our ocean whale, which we love on here and the sparkles. And there's a bunch of others. Like we have sunflowers. Love this one too. Again, another Van Gogh style. And, and there's another Van Gogh one here. And we have these. I love this washi tape with the feathers on it so anyway and I matched it actually with the with moon and star glitter in there you can kind of see it as well because the moon and stars they have lots of stars and things and the wash tape actually has moons and things um, on some of the other sections and then this one here I love too because it has the cherry blossoms in it and the glitter in here is actually cherry blossoms as well so I love kind of putting these together and seeing the color combinations now Speaking of color combinations and trying to figure all that out, you can see on the side here, <laughs> I have a bunch of piles of blanks. And this is because when I was trying to figure these out, I was pouring colors and trying to see what washi tape is going to work with what colors and glitter and different things like that. So it was a bit of a process to figure it all out. But so it left me with a whole bunch of blanks. So today's video, besides showing you guys these, is going to be about working on some of the blanks. Now, um, I'm in a kind of a mindset <laughs> this week. It's been a crazy week to just kind of do free flow art and not necessarily teach a specific style or a technique. So for those of you who enjoy watching me paint, this is going to be a great video for you <laughs> because that's all I'm going to be doing. I'm actually going to not talk through everything because a lot of the techniques I'm going to be working on, you've either seen or I've had some tutorial in the past, which I'll try to link any of the ones that I, the techniques that I'm using in the description below this video for those of you who want that. For those of you who just want to watch me paint and just enjoy it with some music in the background, that's what this video is going to be. I'm not going to be doing all of these today. I might do a two or three part of this video where I just kind of do a few at a time, maybe five or six designs. I'm not really sure, depending on how timing goes. So we'll just pick a bunch and I'm just going to see what I can create, what kind of, you know, designs. I have no idea. I just, I'm in that artistic mindset to just, you know, let my hands do the, you know, do their thing and figure out what we're making. So I hope you guys who enjoy watching me paint, enjoy this video. And those of you who would prefer to have a tutorial, I'll be back with tutorials in a couple weeks. Um, I think this week and next week will be this type of video. And then after that, uh, we'll be back to tutorials. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started.
Okay, so we're back and we're all done uh, with, I did six designs here in the time lapse. I hope you guys enjoyed watching them being made. So I just want to show you what they kind of look, look like. They're not 100% dry yet, so I still need to let them fully dry and then I can add the ribbons and all that kind of stuff to them. But I did want to show you how they are looking so far now that they've had a little bit of time to dry. So first we had our poinsettia. And this was kind of in a, my stained glass style. There's a little bit of glitter in there that you can see in the red, and then everything else has more glitter. So I really liked how this one turned out. It just has a really kind of pretty look to it. So there we go. And uh, this one, like I said, it's a stained glass style. So I will link um, one of my tutorials if you're looking for that tutorial on how to do that. This one here, it's a little bit different than what I normally do, but I really like it. It's kind of kind of like a vine with a little bit of holly berry uh, type of... I actually put Swarovski crystals on them, so you can see those sparkling there. And just with the, you know, the mint colored ornament and then the white leaves, I just really like the simplicity of this. I just thought it was really pretty and still quite festive, so I like that. This one here, if you saw in one of my previous videos, I made a clock in this almost exact same style and coloring with the three dimensional flower. So you can see how much that sticks up. And then I just hand painted in those vines and leaves on there in my embroidery style. So again, I can link the tutorial that I made for that clock so you can see how these are made. So there we go. I really like how this one looks. And I love the dimension on this as well. So there's that one. Uh, let's see, and I don't know if you can see, the light's a bit bright, but you can see that there's like a shimmer on the flower there. So I did add a little bit of shimmer there. Now this one, <laughs> this one was a little bit complicated. I don't know if you noticed in the time lapse that I actually kind of messed up the bottom. So I had to remove the paint and then fix it up. So sorry for that for anybody who, <laughs> who, you know, that bothered while we were watching the, while watching the time lapse, but I did get around to fixing it. And the outliner I used here is actually a transparent. So as you can see, it's starting to dry but it's going to leave like sparkly lines because it's like a glitter type outliner. So I really actually like how the ends are white tipped here. It's like got a gradient, but that's going to be gone. Like once they dry, it's going to be fully uh, just glitter, not um, with that uh, trans uh, that fade. So I, in a future on a future piece, I may try to figure out how to do that fade because <laughs> I really do like it. But Unfortunately, once this dries, it's going to, it's not going to have that, but it will still be beautiful. I mean, I really like the pattern of this one here. It just is so pretty and elegant. So, and I love the color too. So there's that one. And then this one here, I wanted to do a geode <laughs> for an ornament for a while. And I really like how this one turned out. I used a lot of crystals. Let's see if I can turn it. You can see all the crystals on there. So I use quite a few crystals. Um, the crystals are from Counter, Con sorry, Counter Culture DIY. And again, it's not fully dry yet. So once it is, the uh, the colors will show a bit more than they're showing here. Because right now, it's there's still some of that gloss varnish in there that's just kind of, kind of con causing a little bit of an opaqueness to it. So, but I really do like how this one turned out. And with the green, I just think it's stunning. So we have that. And for this one here, I just wanted to do a little bit of a henna style because you guys know how much I love, um, you know, henna painting and things like that. So I just wanted to do kind of a tone on tone. So this is like a copper paint on like a peachy coral colored uh, ornament. And I really like, I love that kind of just subtle look there. I just think it's really pretty. So lots of detail, but yet not, you know, overly bright and, uh, you know, in your face. So we have that. And I have a bonus one for you guys as well. This one here was actually what started <laughs> the whole inspiration to do just a video of just random designs and just kind of letting the art flow. Because uh, one day I was just sitting here and I was working on those washi tape 
uh, ornaments and I just wanted to doodle. And <laughs> I know it doesn't look like a doodle, but it was like in my style, it was kind of like a doodle. I wanted to see how this paint color would look on this color ornament. So it's kind of almost like a blush, slightly blush pink and then has the pale gold on it. So that is just a peacock that I quickly kind of painted on there. And I really liked how this turned out. Um, and I just thought, oh, wouldn't it be really cool to have some really kind of unique one of a kind ornaments made. So that's what inspired this video. So let's actually move these over a bit so we can squeeze that guy in here. So here we go. So I do think, as I mentioned earlier, I do think I'm going to put these online as one of a kind pieces. I don't, I won't be taking orders. I mean, if you really, really want like maybe a bunch of them made, you can definitely DM me and we can discuss pricing for, to get like a set made or something like that. But I, I'm just going to be selling these as one off. So one of a kind, I will sign and date them on the back so there will be it's kind of like my signature series i think is what i'm going to be calling these ones so just because they are so unique they do take quite a bit of time for each of them to be made so um the pricing on them will be a little bit more than some of the other ornaments that i'm selling but if you want a unique one <laughs> a one-of-a-kind one feel free that you can uh pick one up on my website. So anyways guys I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. It was just so fun for me to create all these unique designs so and I will link for those of you looking for tutorials I will link them in the description below as many as I can to kind of cover all the different techniques that I used here but I do hope you like them and uh, I will be listing them as mentioned earlier on my website so if you want to find them there and you want to get a unique piece feel free to check them out there and um, with that, I'm going to get going. So thank you again so much for all your support, for, for watching the whole video, for getting here to the end with me, and uh, for also those who are sending in uh, donations and coffees and all those things. It really, really, really helps the channel and it really helps me to be able to continue making these videos. So if you enjoy them and you are learning from them or you just find them fun to watch, you know, you can definitely feel free to... Um, to show your appreciation that way. If you can't, obviously it's not a problem. I don't expect that. It's just an outlet for those who are looking for, you know, to show their support in that way. Just by liking and sharing this video, it does so much to help the video kind of move outwards, you know, it helps the algorithm kind of push it outwards. So if you can do that, share it with anybody that you think would enjoy it. And it really does help a lot. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye.